All right, this is my DX390. I bought it for $30 on eBay. Uh, during, you know, there were a lot of them on eBay at the time. Somebody put one up for $30 bucks and in a box new. I bought it. And it, you can get one where someone has touched this antenna and burnt out the front end. It is possible. But when you get a good one, you get a good one. Okay. Now, I use this radio for all kinds of testing. If I'm working on AM broadcast radio and I want to see if the oscillator is working, I get this out. If I want to see that an oscillator is oscillating on shortwave AM, I get this out. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, when I tested this this transmitter, I I, I turned this on. All right. This is my go-to radio. Now, uh, we had a, a ESPN station on um, 1490. That noise is my computer and this camera, but that station was garbled, and uh, I, I let it go. I said, I'll, I'll turn this on the next day. I turn on the next day, it's still garbled. So I get other radios out, because I have a lot of radios, and uh, I'm tuning them. They all get this station, uh, 1490, perfectly. So I'm dreading taking this apart and working on them. Like, what could the problem be? So uh, I start thinking, what does this radio have that's different than all my other ones? And then it, re it hit me. Uh, I did a review on a DX390, and I said it wouldn't get this, um, this station, Sweet 16. See how weak it is? Here it comes. It's, it's coming in now. All right. That's the station I use to test sensitivity of radios. Now, that station's fairly far away from here, and it's only a few hundred watts. So I could tell if a radio has sensitivity by using that station. And I really couldn't get that station good. I mentioned it on the review that's no longer up there on the Internet or on uh, YouTube, and someone come back and said, there's a mob. So I went and did the mob. So now, picture me sitting here months or years later and I'm like why doesn't this radio pick up the 1490 correctly okay now let's see if 1490 is doing that all right the, the camera's messing it up so the station Went from ESPN to Hard Rock, and it's garbled, and it's on my favorite radio. So I sat there for a while, went through my head, and I'm thinking, get that. I got out the super radios. I got out my pocket portables. They all got it. Well, when I had done a review on this, someone said, there's a mod. So I did the mod, and it makes the radio super sensitive. Well, this station is close by. So I said, well, the only way I can prove that... It's, it's the super mod that I did. As I remember someone saying, if you come in through the radio with a regular piece of wire, there's a connection to come in through a, a long wire antenna without clipping it on the, uh, the rod antenna. I'll put that in. And you notice the RF gain's working. So the radio was being overloaded. So I just want to do this video, warn you, there are a lot of bad modifications on the Internet. And uh, years ago, they would have, there would be packages or little pamphlets they'd sell in the back of a magazine, like uh, make, uh, improve your uh, ICOM R71A. Well, most of those improvements uh, fix one problem but created two other ones. And I want, I want the same thing with the command radios. A lot of the, um, the uh, mods and ideas, unless they're reversible, don't do it. Okay. And this is a case where this got me. I was ready to take this thing apart. And I'm like, how do, I, how do I figure out what's causing the garble? Well, the poor radio was overloaded. The station's only a few miles away. It's 1,000 watts. 
Uh, I never used this radio on that station before because it was ESPN. And when they're talking, you can't hear the overload problem. It's only when music was on. But I did just want to show you this and warn you about modifications. And, uh, you know, I used deductive reasoning on it. You know, why does the other radios I have all work and this one doesn't work right? So that's what I did. But this is my go-to radio. I keep batteries in this for inclement weather. Uh, just in case we lose the power, I have a radio to listen to. And uh, I use it for testing oscillators. And it, this thing gets used twice a week at least. I think that's it. All right, that's it.